Hey everyone, it's day 10 of 2023 Glow Skin Gems and today we're talking about body sunscreens. I feel like I don't try too many body sunscreens or I go into waves of trying them and waves of not trying them, but I have a couple picks this year that I quite enjoyed. First up I have this one from Kula. This is their organic classic sunscreen spray. And this is my first time trying a spray sunscreen and it was really fantastic and convenient to use. I like that they have different scents of this one, like they have this fragrance free version that I use as well as they have this guava mango scent. The guava mango was so good. If you like fragrance or you're tolerable to fragrance in your sunscreens, especially on the body, I would say try out the guava mango scent. It was tropical goodness. In terms of the formula, it, these were really lightweight on the skin and they're water sweat resistant as well, which is a big thing I look out for on body sunscreens. If I'm gonna be outdoors wearing body sunscreen, I assume I'm probably gonna be sweating, so I need something that's sweat resistant. I hate when sunscreens, including the water resistant ones, sort of break down or beat up onto the skin when you start sweating and you get like those streaks. This one does not do that. So that's a big plus for me. It's good protection. They have a lot of different versions of this one. Like I said, a lot of different scents and different SPF levels. I have the SPF 50 here. They also have SPF 30 and I think they have SPF 70. It's a decent price. However, I go through these pretty quickly because it's a spray and I want to make sure that I'm getting the, good, the correct amount of product to make sure it's doing the actual amount that it should be giving me. So I, I layer this thing on. The spray is super convenient for me and does a good job, but I assume if you want to be super diligent on making sure you're getting the correct amount, you probably want to go with their lotion, and I know they have a version of that, the classic organic lotion. I haven't tried that one, but I assume it's great because I've tried the spray and I also have tried their classic face sunscreen that I assume is a similar formula because it's the same name, and that one's also great. So I want to try out the lotion version for the body as well. Next up I have this one here, this is the Naked Sundays SPF 50 Antioxidant Body Sunscreen Cream. Now I will say this one is actually, I would say kind of expensive for the price, it's like $30 and you get 100 milliliters of product. But this one is so lightweight on the skin and so easy to apply. And if you're going to be applying sunscreen to your whole body, that takes a lot of time, so I definitely want one that's easy to apply and quick to apply. That's why I liked the, the Kula sprays. But for a cream, this one applies super easily as well. Additionally, this is water resistant. It feels like nothing there, very lightweight. Plus, I love the scent of this. It has that sort of sweet tropical scent as well. On their website, it says it smells like summer with their signature Naked Sunday scent. So that's good to know. I definitely want to try out more of the sunscreens if that's their signature scent. So like I said, this one I think is a little bit pricier than I would like, but if you have the extra bandwidth to spend on it, I think this is a great sunscreen. Last up, I want to give some honorable mentions because um, Japanese sunscreens a lot of times come in these big bottles of like 200 milliliters. Uh, let me see if there's an amount on here. Or these are 250 milliliters. So you can get some Japanese sunscreens in these big sizes and they have a pump and these are great to have if you want to use them as a body sunscreen. You can also just use them on the face, but I've been using them as a body sunscreen. This one is the Haramugi UV SPF 50 Plus PA4 Pluses UV uh, Milky Gel. And this one I have here is the Verdeo UV Moisture Gel SPF 50 Plus PA4 Pluses. I believe these both come in 80 milliliter tubes, but again, I have the 250 milliliter bottles here. These both apply really quickly. They're almost like a milky fluid gel type of texture. And you can get them for a great price because most Asian sunscreens are quite affordable. So I would say these are a great affordable option when the previous two are a bit more pricey. They both have a similar radiant finish, but again, that's not as noticeable on the body. I apply them both on my arms and I guess you can see they just look normal. The Haramugi is a chemical sunscreen, and obviously there's no white caps with that one. The Verdeo one is a hybrid sunscreen. There's titanium dioxide in this one. However, I don't have any issues with white casts on my body. Um, when I use this on my face, it left some grayness in my facial hair. However, the body hair I have is not as coarse, so I don't have any issue with it leaving white streaks or gathering in my body hair. Another plus to this one is that it is water resistant. Um, I don't believe the Hanamuki is water sweat resistant. But these are my picks for body sunscreens today. Um, if you've tried any of these, let me know what you think. Or if you have any favorites of your own that are not here, let me know in a comment down below. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for some body care favorites.